some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey everyone, welcome back <laughs> to Board release. Games. What? I'm gonna release. <laughs> uh, welcome back to Board Games Unlocked and the discussion for the real truth, which the real truth. The only people who know about this game are probably fans of the last podcast on the left. Uh, and this game is definitely one that you are gonna get if you are a fan. It's for the fans of last podcast for on the left. The cans. Um, for the cans on the fans. So, I mean, only fans. I only saw this through their Instagram. Like, I actually don't ever remember hearing them, like, promote it on their channel like they do for their weed or their coffee. Weed. Um, I, yeah, I, I found there. out about it because of Reddit. Okay. Yeah, because I'm on their, on their meme page. Yeah, so I don't know if this is one of their games where, like, because it's not designed by any of them. Right. Uh, I know Marcus plays board games, uh, it's specifically Black Orchestra. Fucking loser. Um, he fucking loves it. What a weirdo. Uh, <laughs> but, yeah, it's by Daryl Andrews. I don't know if that's some guy that they know, or if this was something that, this was something that they all, like, are really into, cryptids yeah. and conspiracies, that they put their name on, or their, yeah, their brand on. Trying to... Uh, but, yeah, this is kind of like one of those where it runs in the niche of mass market it's not mass market but you can get off amazon and uh in terms of like game quality like component wise it feels that it feels cheap <laughs> like with the the just the generic sorry game pieces mm -hmm. and the the weird card text like these were all like stuck together when you first got you to like peel them mm. apart uh but overall like i think it's a fine game mm -hmm. like it's it's not horrible this is definitely one i i kind of enjoyed going through and just seeing what kind of ridiculous conspiracies there were right one thing i wish that they did have well what we we can we can talk about that what, what were your guys overall thoughts of the real truth <laughs> uh, the rule book needs some more fine tuning that's yeah. just how it is um we've run into that before and like I said earlier, like this is a game for the fans, because um, you can find this style of like hunting game, like find going out to find them game in yeah. any game. Um, I obviously like it because I like cryptids. I some of these conspiracy theories I have not ever heard of, yeah. um, which is kind of interesting because I like learning about new things that people are insane about. Like Lucifer <laughs> and the lizard people under Denver is quite literally the craziest thing I've seen. Like. Because Blucifer's a big deal in Denver. He's also right here. He is also right there. No one ever caught him because he's elusive. Um, <laughs> I so he's I think be really it's, dumb. I think it's interesting him. because it's right up my alley. Like I like that ooky spooky kind of stuff. I like that we can be an, our own agent. Yeah. Um, so I mean, I like it overall. I like it. Yeah. Uh, Devin. Oh uh, yeah. It's I mean. It is a game. It, it, yeah, it's a game. No. <laughs> It's, I mean, I had fun. We had fun with it. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I feel like it's a perfectly fine game. They've, uh, like, it felt like there was, a, like, a balance to it. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it came out pretty close. Um, you know, solid, uh, you know, tried and true game mechanics. Um, right. Instead of, like, this would be one that I feel like if it came out any earlier, it'd be, like, a roll to move. You just roll a die, and that's how many spaces you can move. Yeah. So I, I do like the fact that you kind of have some control over where you can go. Mm -hmm. And then the... The option to move to the poles and mm -hmm. get some more movement abilities, right? Um, since they're kind of out of the way, and like if you need fucking what was it? The, what was the blue stuff called? EMP, uh, EVPs. EV, 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 EVPs. Yeah, if you need yeah. EVPs, you need to say like more center or to the right. Yeah. Um, while the you know your tracks are more on the outskirts, it seems. Oh yeah, I guess so that's kind of where uh, where they are. Yeah, documents are more on the left hemisphere, and mm -hmm. then uh, also with plasmas. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, yeah, and the fact that like there were there were I think each each of us had like you can do some pretty sweet combos with just kind of like hmm okay if I use this ability then I can go there and then use this movement to like run around to gather these resources I can end there and finish out multiple missions. Mm -hmm. uh, it's it's pretty rewarding. It's not the most advanced gameplay in the world. I don't think it's the most. Uh, I mean, in terms of you're just getting four different types of resources that mm -hmm. more or less just kind of pertain to a, a mission, mm -hmm. or it's like, okay, well, obviously the uh, the monster creatures are going to need more tracks. Like, each of them just require their type of resource mm -hmm. if you want to go heavy into 
monster hunting. Yeah. Did they use Kickstarter or Newfound? No. Or Gamefound? No. So that's that's admirable in and of itself. Yeah. And I think it's like 25 bucks yeah. on Amazon or something. No, I mean, for the price, it's a solid game. I'd recommend it. Yeah. Uh, especially, like, again, if you are a fan of Last Podcast, uh, then you would, for a lot of the missions, they have the QR codes where if you're like, Oh man, that one sounds interesting based off the text, then you can scan the QR code and it takes you to the yeah, the that is cool. episode. Uh, and even if you're not a fan of last podcast, I feel like that if you play this with someone and they're like, Oh, this is really interesting, you can then be like, Oh, well then scan and then you could there I wonder if they're gonna get like more fans yeah. just from this game circulating. I just think it's really cool. It was because I'm reading Reddit because I'm trying to figure out like, well, how did it get connected with Last Pod? Like because oh. obviously somebody had to have been like I'm a <coughs> pod fan. Yeah. So like who was it? How did it get into? Because people are saying like no, I haven't heard this promoted on their show. So okay. like was it a side story thing? Because sometimes they mention things at like the very, 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 very end of yeah, episodes, which, which I, you don't listen to. No, I always I listen once the episode's on I'm like, nope. <laughs> I listen to them if I can't touch my phone and I'm driving and I'm like, okay, I'll just sit through it. Yeah. Um I'm not finding anything for sure. Um so I, I would like to know where it came from but people were saying they're like did anyone else see this at gen con like it was at gen con it was it was and so i'm just like that's cool was it at gen con apparently yeah um so i think that's really cool because i guess one of the vendors was talking to someone and they're like hey do you like true crime to like podcasts come check out this board game let me tell you about last podcast on the left and i'm like mm. how, how humble yeah how humble um how many of your cards have qr codes on them of your missions you have your missions over there one. I only got one with a QR code. The moon is a dormant spaceship. Which I'm I'm not the No QR code. You didn't get any. Moon. Okay. So there are uh, 18 in this deck of mission that have QR codes. Um, one thing I would have liked is because these, these uh, mission cards have a decent amount of text. It's mm -hmm. the tiniest font imaginable. <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> yeah. like... I was very surprised, like, whenever they came out that I was like, wow, that's a pretty decent chunk. And uh, I, I really like that. I think that's what keeps this game kind of fun. And uh, There's some cryptids in here I've never heard of either. Yeah, mm -hmm. and well, that kind of goes hand-in-hand. Hand. It's like, like the fact that there's a lot of text to explain what the conspiracies were. I would have liked that also for the for the creatures. Yeah, where they, yeah, where they come it, from. Yeah. Just a short synopsis. Yeah, like, I mean, maybe it doesn't have to be as much text, because I like the fact that there is at least art. Yeah. Uh, and they're all silhouetted. <laughs> yeah. um, like, for Mothman, you literally could have just put, like, a harbinger of doom. Yeah. Like, like which like, I guess I guess it's kind of harder, because, like, there's some more nuances, like, to Wendigo, but you can't just be like, former cannibal. <laughs> former cannibal. No, but you can explain how the Wendigo comes to be. Yeah. Uh, you could explain what the hell Blucifer is, or uh, what... If you don't know Blucifer, then you just don't get it. Yeah, I guess I don't. But once um, you get it, get it. I mean, there's Baba Yaga, Mookie, the Yeti, Gargoyle, Mummy, Lemurians. Cool. Uh, cool. Menahoon, Sea Monster, Hug and Molly, Atlantean, Jersey Devil, Skinwalker. Oh, the Jersey Devil. He's a devil. Pukwudgy, Troll, Bunyip, Demon, Zombie, Witch, Werewolf, Wani. And then Alma, Anta Shesha, Jumbi. Paltesia, Chupacabra. You're just making up words. Yeah, like yeah. And, and Simurg. And uh, Wilberg and Inga. <laughs> I mean, yeah, there's a bunch in there that, like, it's like, I haven't even heard of any of those. Mm -hmm. Puck Wudgy. So, it, it would just be nice if there was some, like, and if you, if they don't want to put it on the card, they just want it to be very clear with the art, mm -hmm. then put it in, like, the rule book. Yeah. The oh, back. yeah. Oh, cool. yeah, like a little, little bestiary. Yeah. Uh... The the rule book itself is is atrocious, and that's the kind of problems you come in with these kinds of games, where it's like, okay, well, this isn't really a gamer's game. It, this is this is definitely intended to be for mass market. You see it at Walmart, or you see it at Target, or Spirit Halloween, mm -hmm. and so they don't want to overload it with rules. But the problem comes in when other people are playing it, you just run into ambiguities, like so many times where it's like, well, technically based off this event, mm. uh. We can never capture um, the blue cre or blue creatures again, because oh, every yes. time you go in there, you then have to move out. You're too scared. Yeah. So we had to be like, well, I guess that's a, a consequence. And I just, I just don't. Those kinds of things annoy me, <laughs> especially fair. when they're just events and there's a decent amount of events. Because you have to, again, I mean, it goes with every rule. Like you have to act like the 
dumbest person on the face of the planet is right me. because we came up to our own conclusion that made sense that we're like well yeah if she gets moved on to you you're too scared of her and you and you have to and move. you have to run yeah. away but if you move on to her you can't just like immediately move out because then right yeah yeah or the uh the memory wipe is that you if you go there you have to lose one of your advanced memory cards it's like well it doesn't make sense why would i ever want to go capture that <laughs> if i'm gonna lose one of these really nice cards so, I mean, that's pretty much, like, my only my only complaint. There's no tiebreaker, uh, mm -hmm. so that's just that's just there. And even in terms of kind of, like, they, they wanted some set collection mm. with, the, with the creatures. Yeah. But it seems like it's not really that. It's just, okay, creatures are worth one point, and if you happen to have one of each, it's just an additional six. But I almost feel like it should be for each set, you know. Like if I got eight and I got two of each, mm -hmm. that should be an that should be six, uh, uh, twelve points mm -hmm. instead of just six. But I mean, theoretically, it's not. Oh, okay, I gotcha. Like, like if you kind of go two for sets, yeah. Each so like set if, if Kat, yeah, if Cat only got <laughs> uh, the Men in Black and the Aliens, and she had like three, uh, you know, three sets, that would have been. Uh, six points total instead of just the plus two. Mm. But based off the way the rules are written, that's not the case. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I mean, only other negatives I really have is actually kind of also with the, the alignment. Mm. Poor choice, I think, for a word. It doesn't really make sense. Like how It's like, do you align to that belief system is kind of how... I think that would make sense. You, it, you might, it might take... Uh, Mm -hmm. But it, it's just a track. It may, it means nothing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like why do I why do I have to have an alignment of one to get the vampire? Yeah. Versus a ten for dragon. You know, it's probably just, because it's not it's not hard to believe. It's like not far fetched to believe in a vampire, but like a dragon, you're like, come on, guys, come on, the dragon's one. Yeah, I mean, and that's that's I'm sure how it's attended. I just think the the term alignment just doesn't kind of mm -hmm. make a whole lot of sense. I almost feel like you're more like you're more aligned to believe one thing than another. Um, yeah. But yeah, I took it as like my strength in the belief. Where like Mothman, it's like, oh well, my alignment is ten, and I'm too smart to believe in Mothman. Obviously, I only <laughs> believe in dragons. <laughs> right. Yeah, I'm that uh, Mothman's psychotic. not real. But uh, <laughs> have you heard of Kyofira? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, apparently, there is a QR code of the boys explaining the rules. Okay. An elusive. Uh, but a lot QR of people code. were com confused about like how this came about. So interesting. Yeah, interesting. But they, but they were apparently involved in the making of the game. So okay. Yeah. So the Me legend goes, and it was at Gen Con. Interesting. <laughs> Megastellations. 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 Don't know what that is. They haven't said it in a long time. Uh. Yeah, and. And then, yeah, so some ambiguities even with just one of the ma major cards, the reset card. Like, the, the on the card it says you move it uh, equal time in the air in your discard pile, but that would be annoying if you played that last. And then it's like, well, I guess I'm going all the way up. Mm -hmm. um, I don't want to be at 10. But then the rule example says, oh, it's up to or as many as in your discard pile. So it's like, oh, okay, so I if I have five in my discard pile, I can move it up to five, up or down. Yeah. Okay. That's how I was doing it, and I think that's how Kat was doing it as well. Yeah. Just those kind of weird fucking things that they're they're more glaring than, like, because sometimes it's like, oh, okay, well, that doesn't really explain it, but it obviously makes sense to do it this way. That's unfortunately not really how it works here. Um, but other than that, like, it's, it's, a, it's, it's fun. <laughs> no, good game. Would recommend it. I mean, cheap price if yeah. you're interested in the subject matter. It, Especially, it's very yeah. rewarding. Especially if you're. Uh, a yeah, the I mean the the gameplay was good. I mean, nice succinct turns. I kind of like the rotating first player. Mm -hmm. So like mm -hmm. sometimes you you'd have like two turns in a row almost, and then other times you're waiting you know forever. Yeah. So it's you can feel you know pretty good when you get your double mm -hmm. going. Uh, and then, like, the events are nice and random. Like, the whole extra movement card was a game changer. Yeah, I, I uh, do like the fact that the events weren't, like, player hindering. Mm -hmm. They weren't, they were all beneficial or they affected, you know, cert, like, the entire game. Yeah. Uh, but, because sometimes it's just kind of like, there are a lot of where it's just top decking an event card, and it's like, first player gets five resources of their choice, or something stupid like that, where mm -hmm. it's like, okay, well, now everyone else is just screwed over. 
Yeah. I like that they, that those kind of events weren't in here. Um, and, and yeah, and we, I guess another kind of negative, if you play out the, the game as intended, uh, I mean, going through nine rounds, like, that was almost two hours. Yeah. And we were supposed to go 11. Yeah. Mm. And I was like, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put two, two so events we're back, go. we're just gonna, we're just gonna call it. And that's fair. Because it's like, well, we're, was it because we were playing it for the first time? And trying to get, but, but like I mean, I feel the, earth, the turns were pretty easy. To, exactly. To catch on to. Yeah. So, so it's like, it, it didn't just warrant need to, to be that long. Yeah. Like, do we just need to kind of make our turns more succinct? Mm. Yeah. We were joking a few times though. We we're having some silly, goofy laughs. Mm. We also were reading every single card. Which you should. Well, <laughs> like, yeah. if you were not getting in reading the conspiracies, then. That's just kind of like playing gloom and just not get not telling a story. Oh, what's your story? Hmm? You're just like I'm doing this. Like I, I complete this mission. Okay, that's over your turn. It's like, well, what I want to know about. Nope. Oh, global warming is a conspiracy. How nice. How nice. <laughs> oh, what a what a fun one. Some of these are frustrating. Ooh, what? Yeah. That you read and you're like, I hate these people. <laughs> Someone you, thinks you this. Said, you said I people hate think this. Others. <laughs> you right. It was uh. <laughs> What was it? Which one did I? I can't remember, but you were. Earth is flat. Flat Earth is. Yeah, I was like, I hate others. I'll just never forget the video where they prove themselves wrong. And they're like. so funny. And some of them are like. And then they just try to. If backpedaling was an Olympic sport, they'd be a gold medalist. Uh, I was going to say something else, but I. I can't, it was, it's $30 on Amazon. I apologize. $30. And I will say on the Reddit, everybody's just like, man, if you cannot get it from Amazon, don't get it from Amazon. Really? Yeah. Because everybody... Oh, because I'm sure everyone's it's, Well, like, it's really trendy to hate Amazon. I guess. Even though it's super convenient. Yeah, it's, it's, for the consumer, it's the best thing in the world. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's where I got it. Two-day shipping, bitch. Yeah. The hidden identities were nice. Just kind of a little end-game objective. That's, yeah. That was my entire goal, so I only took missions that were three points or less. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I, for no reason, thought that I only could get men in black ones, and I was like, well, hang on, that's an alien. <laughs> Yeah, the one I turned in was actually the opposite of that. It was based off of, it was for, uh, did I put it on the top? Yeah, it was four points or more. So mm. that was, I, I got both of those, and I was like, man, it seems like the three I had at the beginning, two of them were less than three points. So I was like, okay, that's the one I'll pick. Mm -hmm. But there's, there's, there's a decent amount in here. Like, I think one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine... So, 12? 12 hidden identities? Yeah, and they certainly change the way you play. Yep. So. We'll play again. Yeah. Yeah, this is kind of a good, like, bring it out for Halloween mm -hmm. or something. Yes. Mm -hmm. Like, or fall. So, uh, yeah. I mean, that's 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 pretty much it. Mm -hmm. uh, I, think, I think this is definitely a, a pretty solid one for last podcast to kind of, like, there's no risk to them putting their name on it. They only really benefit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, just throw our QR codes on there. Sure. Like we 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 did topics on those. Yeah. Um, yeah. And there were some that we got that was like, man, I wish they had a. <laughs> no, I wish that one had a QR code. I know. Yeah, I know. Prince Charles is the vampire. Well, that's true. <laughs> Nazi hocus pocus book horde. What? Birds aren't real. Birds aren't real. Telling you, like, Oh, this one's Let's Raid Area 51 for the truth. You remember that whole That's, thing? How could I forget? They all Naruto raid. They all showed up. Just, yep, there's 30, 30 people. Yeah, right. 10 or... So... They can't stop And they just got them. mowed down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. Well, I don't really have a whole lot a whole lot more, more yeah. to say on it. Uh, so on a scale of 1 to 10, what would you guys give the real truth? I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I, mine's I, very biased. Yeah. Um, I'm going to give it an 8. An 8? Yeah, mm -hmm. I can give it no less than an 8 for a sure love of the content. That's fair, yeah. This I'm is a definitely... spooky little girl. I love learning about this stuff. I, I I don't care if it's real or not. Obviously, these are not real. Like These conspiracy theories are out of this world bananas. Especially that we're living in a simulation one. That one just boils my fucking blood for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I love hearing it. Like I think it's so interesting to... Because you're just... You kind of like... You have a childlike stare when you're looking at someone and you're like, wow, <laughs> no brain cells. Because like, these people that, like, 
they just dump it on you out of nowhere. You're just at a party, and they're like, you know we're living in a simulation, right? And you're like, oh! <laughs> well, I'm actually standing here eating spaghetti, so I don't fucking care. Like, <laughs> yeah, well, I'm just going to right. take yeah. my drink and go over here. Okay, well, Warby's a gadu. I have to go pee my pants because I, I don't didn't know go to the... I don't know what you just said. That's simish. War- Warby Zagadu. Warby Zagadu. Devin. Pleat <laughs> plop. What would you, what would you, you give the real truth? Quatsicodal. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it, I will give it, like, I mean, for the, I mean, for the price point, and it's like, it feels, it's a very traditional board game. Feels. Yeah. Yeah. Very, I mean, you know, they hit all the, I feel like, you know, uh, at Board Gaming Crafting 101, you know, this is a solid <laughs> Game a, crafter, yeah. You know, solid A, A project. Here, I, sorry, not to put these guys down. <laughs> but it's very traditional, very, yeah, like you said, mass market. Yeah. Um, but really cool how they put in. All the cryptids and the different conspiracy theories. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, very solid gameplay. Like, I, I kind of want to share Cat on this. I mean, not super like my taste, but the fact that it's only thirty bucks is yeah. just pretty cool. And they didn't do the Kickstarter BS, right? Which is uh, always uh, applaudable. This is how it's done now. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if this game did go on Kickstarter with their name on it, then yeah, you you would expect like way better components. Yeah, uh, I hate this board. Um, oh, it, really? it's, it's oh, four well. it's four separate pieces. Mm. That's oh it. no, I thought it was a big fancy no. fold. I know, no. I was like crazy. it is four separate pieces. It's it's ass. Interesting. Um <laughs> So component wise, this is pretty trash. Yeah. It's like very basic. Like yeah, like like the little yeah. I mean my sorry my, my guess was he put in a lot of research for the cryptids to put in the game and making sure that each of these were an actual pretty length of text with a decent size mission deck. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So yeah. that's where, I mean, I commend him for having all that yeah. uh, content. And so whenever he probably got was done with that, he's like, I, I don't <coughs> fucking care. Just sorry pieces, and I don't want to spend more than 10 bucks on components. <laughs> mm-hmm. I'll give it. I'm vibing a seven. That's where seven I'm Seven feels good. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, I'd recommend it. I'd yeah, I'd play it again easily. Yeah, I'd play it again. Yeah, very straightforward. Easy yeah. gameplay. Yeah, you kind of just have Balanced. to... Balanced. So, yeah, way to go, guys. Right. Good stuff. Um, I'm at a 7 as well. Uh, I think I think just... It could be an 8 if there weren't just those annoying... Well, these events kind of don't make any sense uh, to how you're going to play. But I like the... Because he probably didn't want it to be too strict as well. Like... He wanted it to be fluid. Okay, you do a four move, you move four spaces, you get those four resources. Mm-hmm. Um, I also like the fact, one thing that we didn't really talk about was that when you do capture a creature, you get a special bonus. You get a special yeah. ability. Mm. Yeah. Uh, I thought that that was pretty cool. I utilized uh, mine quite a bit mm-hmm. for the extra movement. Do they all do the same thing? They do not. That's the other cool thing. It's, like, it's not like one of those games where, oh, all the... The creature ones, all the red creatures, do the same ability. Yeah, yeah, because my Mothman and Wendigo were separate categories, but they did the same thing. Yeah, so they, they do kind of mix mix out. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I thought that that was pretty cool. That was kind of the more gamery part. You might grab uh, a cryptid to get a special ability. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, 7 out of 10. Don't, uh, I, just, the last podcast is is fantastic. If you're not aware of who they are... But you're interested in this, then I would say pick up this game, and then you can scan a bunch of QR codes. If you're not, then they are a serial killer, like true crime podcast. True crime, cryptids, conspiracy theory, and real history. Like yes. they've done, like we did. Jo- uh, we talked about Joseph Mengele, yeah. uh, Jonestown. The cult ones are my favorites the cult ones that are really they cool. do. Uh, in if you're into the JFK that one was series, really was good. super solid. Yeah. And then what was the one that you liked that I did not at all um, about they were uh, it was where they were like brainwashing people MK Ultra MK Ultra yeah yeah I did not give a yeah. fuck about that one <laughs> but if you do if you're interested in that then they they yeah, they're just kind of well that's how they made eleven from Stranger Things so I don't care <laughs> they're uh, they're all over the place for yeah. that kind of content so highly recommend them and they're so funny. So, yeah. Uh, that's our thoughts on The Real Truth. Let us know what you think of the game in the comments below. Other than that, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Have a wonderful whatever time of day it is for you.
Hey everyone, thank you for watching and I really hope that you enjoyed the video. If you would like to see more of my content, go ahead and click that subscribe button and the bell to be notified whenever I upload any new content. If you feel like supporting the channel, you can go ahead and click that Patreon link to be taken to my Patreon and any help is truly appreciated. Other than that, stick around for any, any other run-throughs or reviews or cool top tens or whatever I feel like putting on. Other than that, like, comment, share, and subscribe and have a wonderful whatever time of day it is for you.